Well, Angelo is joining us now, and he is the director of the Eucharistic Miracles movie. Angelo, how are you doing? Good, good. Thank you so much for having me. Hey, let me ask you, you're in California right now? Yes, indeed. So you got up really early to be on this, so thank you very much. My pleasure, my now, pleasure. Anything now, for the youth. Let, me, let me take a quick guess here. You're from Italy. Is that a pretty good guess? Why? What? Uh, what? <laughs> what song did you for it? <laughs> well, Angelo, you you have such I a back. I didn't start to move my hands yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I do that too. I do that. That's that's my the Irish in me, I guess. Uh, you have such a background, so I actually, I've been stalking you a little bit. I, I looked you up online and everything, and you've done so many things in so many different movies, whether it be directing or producing for over 35 movies and TV shows. What drew you from doing all of this stuff, including like ESPN and so many others, to creating the Eu Eucharistic Miracles movie? Thank you, thank you, th thank you for the answer. Well, it was I think it was mostly was uh, un under COVID uh, was uh, it, it a few kind of uh, event that happened uh, that uh, uh, that we really see. I mean, I, I was going to adoration every day, and mostly I would try to do it the, the night shift. Mm -hmm. um, so when that happened, they start to shut down the adoration rooms. Then uh, they they forcing uh, the Eucharist uh, to be done uh, uh, on the hands. I mean, and that was uh, I've done lots of processing, more lots of studies on my own, and I I kind of made my own decision. For me, I wanna do it on uh, in, in my tongue, and that was like a try to shut down as well. That created some problems even with my wife and I mean because that uh, she didn't wanna frequent that church anymore, which was really close to our to to, to our home. Uh, then after there's uh, lots of things that happen uh, within uh, all the church and people and friends uh, that I mean were not able to do it uh, to, to be able to participate in the, in the church as often as uh, the what there was so I my processing was uh, and I, I, I was struggling for for a while I mean because, I mean being in Hollywood that receiving some really crazy script that I mean you really <laughs> you really don't want to take in place of, of, of be participating with. Uh, so I said to say, okay, I mean, I have, I have this gift. I learned so much because I mean, uh, by being a foreigner, um, I didn't, I had a, an idea for a path I want to go pers pursuing, but I think I'm guessing God that I mean, he didn't like that path that he want to make his own. So I had to learn to be an animator, uh, a graphic artist, uh, director, uh, producing, uh, whatever it was I was able to get because, I mean, because with the visa, uh, with the, the visa I was supposed to get in, uh, that would allow me to work in a specific part. I mean, now finally I'm a, I'm a US citizen. Mm. But uh, so that one, uh, uh, I said to say, okay, I have this gift. Uh, and uh, I heard that this, uh, this guy, which now become one of my best friends, his name is uh, Ray Grijalba. He have a, a, a platform uh, on YouTube called uh, The Joy of Life. And he interview all these uh, amazing doctors uh, uh, that uh, actually analyze uh, the Eucharist miracles. And uh, as, a, as an Italian, I'm really straightforward. I tried to contact him and say, look, what you've done was fantastic. Because how, how in this plan you were able to reach all these people? But the look is pretty horrible. I mean, so, uh, so why, why, why don't we try to make it unite the, the force? I mean, all your contact uh, and uh, we make it like a, a movie out of it. And I kind of picture him at the end. I mean, uh, uh, I don't know if you guys saw this movie called The Case of Christ. Uh, I think probably one of the most beautiful Christian movies done so, so far. Mm -hmm. And the beauty was uh, unify the scientific uh, and the theological element uh, in a movie format. So it doesn't make it boring because I mean, I, I by doing the job I, I've been doing all this year, I learned uh, how to what the audience want. Never do what you want, but what the audience want and what audience need. And uh, so in all these years, we had uh, great directors, great producers teaching us all these informations. So I thought, okay, if uh, I'm making a movie and not a documentary on it, teenagers, which are the one that mostly they, they need the help, uh, I think, I mean, for the Eucharist uh, stuff, uh, they are going to be more prompt 
to uh, to watching it versus every documentary. But the documentary usually what I my take is uh, people that just really like something is going to watch it. Otherwise, and I mean people that are already skeptical that hardly they are going to approach in a documentary. Mostly it is uh, something uh, uh, like the the Eucharist, which is prompting. So that's why we end up to calling. Uh, we have two titles so far, one the Eucharistic Miracle movie and one the, the new mana, which should please a more abrupt audience. Angelo, mm -hmm. this is a great, great project. I, I have many times spoken to young people about the Eucharist, and I often mention Eucharistic miracles because it catches their attention, but I'm sure this movie is going to really catch people's attention. And this is crowdfunded too, isn't it? Yes, yes, indeed, yeah, yeah. So uh, when, when are we going to see the, the final product? I'm, I'm excited about this. Yeah, so that uh, depends. So we finished now all the filming, uh, but we still have to raise money for the special effect uh, and for the animation. Uh, I mean, that's, I think, is one of the most important elements to it because we, wanna, we, we need to speak in the language of uh, the teenagers, the younger people. And uh, when you put like, a bad graphics, it's a huge turn off. Yeah. They are so used to today with the video games, uh, mm. with the great Star Wars look like, uh, and they, if you make a bad graphic, it's already say, okay, this is cheesy. It's not worth watching it. Let's move on. I mean, they have such a attending mm. spam about uh, how much time they can spend doing it. So if it's not something entertaining, uh, so I'm glad that I've been working with uh, the best in the world. And I mean, uh, with this ILM, uh, Disney, Star Wars, uh, all these people, they're doing the special effect uh, and I've done it myself. So we can bring in those people, but we need to raise the money. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being with us today, Angelo. Can you tell people how they can help out to support your work and where they can find out more about the movie? Sure, sure. I mean, we have a website uh, uh, called the Eucharistic Miracle Movie.com. Uh, we are a nonprofit as well, I mean, so people can, uh, can, donate, uh, can donate there. Uh, we partner, I don't know if you guys know Carlo Acutis, uh, uh, but with uh, his, his family, they are partnered with us uh, on this oh, movie. Yeah. So we have a huge support from them as well. Um, yeah, so we, whatever, I mean, the money is going to be like, we are, and we're showing, we want to be so clear and transparent with all the investors that uh, every month we're sending all the bills and what we spend. And not, none of us so far got one penny out of it in, in over, over, over two years, yeah. Well, when you get a trailer, you have to send it to us because we want to show all our people the trailer when, we, when you have it. Yeah, we are, the, the, this is on our website. The, 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 tra the trailer is there, yeah. Very good. Angelo, have a great day, and thanks for doing the great work you're doing. Thank you so much, you too, guys. Thank Grazie you. mille, yeah. Angelo. Grazie mille. <laughs> grazie a lei. Grazie a lei. It's, it's <laughs> <your> excellency. <laughs>